of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I'm back with another video. I know you guys have been spamming me up all over the place, man, especially on IG. Um, a lot of people have been going into my comment sections on a video I uploaded a couple weeks ago to find out like what's currently going on with your boy today. And I am proud to say, man, well, I ain't gonna say proud, but I'm happy to say, man, your boy has been doing very, 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 very well, man. I'm thinking with a clear conscience now, man. Um, it's not a whole lot going on, which is a really good thing. Um, but a lot of people have been reaching out to me, trying to figure out what's going on with your boy Damien. Because I guess people said that I just disappeared. I just went away. I went ghost. And that's really not the case, even though it's unusual for me to go this long a period without uploading a video on the main channel, which is the Cryer family. In my last video I did, um, probably two weeks ago, I did a video, um, I was addressing a few things that I felt that I needed to address that was important to me. Um, and as a father, you guys know I don't play about my kids. And I don't think anybody, when it comes to their children, should have to explain themselves or, you know, but it was a situation where I felt like it was necessary for me to make that video. And I also talked about in the video how, you know, as I said in a lot of other videos I did, that I'm really trying to just move away from this drama stuff, man. Because one thing about drama, it does sell. But as I said in that video as well, what happens when that drama goes away? You may keep the subscribers, it makes your channel look good for the resume, but you don't get the views. For instance, if I drop the video right now, um, saying that I just got into a car accident and this happened, the video is probably gonna run numbers. But if I drop a video called, uh, I went to Walmart today and bought a loaf of bread, nobody's gonna care about that. People only care about the drama. So basically, I actually moved over to a different platform but I also promised you guys that I was going to continue uploading videos on the Cryer family from time to time. And who knows, maybe I'm gonna come back dropping some videos. Maybe after this video, I may start back uploading every day. But in case you guys don't know, I am on Facebook now, guys. That's like where I'm at now. Um, Facebook um, is where I'm at. I mean, I don't have to worry about reactions over there people talking crap. I don't have to worry about all this negative stuff, personal information, getting exposed on the internet because it's Facebook and all I do is fun videos over there, funny videos. So if you guys don't know, go on over to the Cryer Family Facebook page and follow your boy right now. We are on a road to a half a million over there. I think in another couple of days, I'm gonna have more subscribers over there than I got on the Cryer Family. Matter of fact, it's almost 100%. So go on and follow me over there. I will also be dropping a picture somewhere in this video right here or right there. To, um, so you guys can see the channel and where you gotta go to over there to follow me. Also, um, I put on my community post yesterday, guys. You know, your boy got dressed up sharp and I made a big step in my life. So I was going to get baptized yesterday. You know, and I wanna say something about this. Um, getting baptized, like, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, um, getting your head dunked in the water and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, you know, for me, it's different. But even though that that has occurred, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be a perfect person. Um, I seen somebody in my comments on my community posts, um, they said, you getting baptized is, is not gonna help you. You know, like some sarcastic stuff. Um, and then uh, someone else said, well, if you're getting baptized, you need to stop doing this and doing these type of videos and stuff like that. And I'm thinking to myself like, 
So because I get baptized means I'm supposed to stop working, let my bills get behind, lose my home, and stop taking care of my responsibilities. No, I'm gonna keep on working, I'm gonna keep grinding. It just means that I made a change in my life that I feel is gonna benefit me um, and that's gonna better me for a better person and for the future. Also, someone commented under a video I did a couple weeks ago and said, Mr. Cryer, um, are, you, are, are you going through some type of depression? Are you stressed out? Are you this and are you that? And I'm like, where, where's this stuff coming from, guys? I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. One thing about me, I live a stress-free life. Choices that I made several, several, I'm gonna say about seven months ago, about seven or eight months ago, I made a choice in my life to live stress-free and not really worry about what the next person thinks of me, what the next person say about me because life is good from my standpoint. I made it to be 52 years old and June 10th come around, I will be 53. And there is no way I'm gonna be stressing if God has brought me this far in my life to be able to see another year. Um, from what I can tell you guys, honestly, things are actually going very, very good, man. I mean, this is the first time in whoo, a very long time that I actually felt the way that I feel right now. I mean, so I just want to just get that out the way real quick before we get into this video. So about uh, maybe three weeks ago, almost a month ago, I went out and I bought a fish aquarium. You guys know I lost Mia a while back to a bad um, car accident. You know, it was my fault. I've been living with that guilt every day since I lost Mia because like I'm so used to seeing her in the house or in the backyard or in the kitchen somewhere and it's like it's like I just just a big empty space right there in my heart because I miss her so much and then I had a rabbit before that which the rabbit had passed away um, the rabbit name was Ashy I'll let you guys name her and she had passed away while I was on a trip to Indiana and so fast forwarding I went out and bought a fish aquarium maybe three weeks to a month ago um, and I did a vlog for you guys showing you me putting a fish aquarium together and I had to let the water sit for two or three weeks to a month and stuff like that so I have did that and now I'm ready to actually put some fish in it so I brought you guys along with me today um, to this fish pet store um, to buy some fish and I actually brought my camera with me I'm gonna be vlogging and see what I can find today um, now this is gonna seem kind of crazy to you guys but it's the honest truth this store that I'm at right now is actually a fish and pet okay it's called fish and pets unlimited this is actually the place the pet store where I bought the rabbit from this is the same exact place I bought the rabbit from now I don't know if like a lot of people said that the rabbit could have already been sick when I bought the rabbit. I don't know, I'm not a rabbit doctor or nothing like that. So I know that some people will say, why would you go back to that store and buy pets again? I mean, we don't know what happened. It could have been something that I could have been doing wrong. Maybe I overfed the rabbit or something, but whatever the case is, you know, I'm back at this pet store today because some of the Walmarts I went to they still sell uh, fish items for like fish aquariums, but they discontinue selling fish. So I'm gonna go in here today and see if I can find me some fish for the fish aquarium. I think the water has set long enough where I feel comfortable putting fish in there. So I'm not gonna go with anything exotic right now, but what I'm gonna do is put some, some cheaper fish in there and see what happens over the next several weeks. And if they continue to live, I know that, that I'm doing something right, then I'm gonna step up to some exotic fish for the fish aquarium. It's a small fish aquarium, but you know what they say? You gotta crawl before you can walk. So, oh, wow, guys, look at these fish right here. Ooh, I got my brightness up too high. Sorry about that. There we go. Check out these fish. That right there is called an arapaima. That's a bear, uh, arapaima. These fish right here, I don't know what these are. I, feel, I mean, they look like goldfish on steroids. I don't know, but anyway. I don't know what that is. They don't have the names. Oh, yes, they do. Okay. Oh, I was right. Yep, Arapaima. Arapaima, that's an Arapaima. See that? And I'm thinking tin foil barb. I'm guessing that's what those are, the tin 
the tin foil bar and then you got the bass okay okay i see what those are so these fish obviously are way too big for my fish aquarium so we definitely cannot use anything that freaking big over here we got some smaller ones holy cow these things are 149 dollars each five uh show quality okay i mean they're 149 dollars for this itty bitty tiny thing like what the heck no 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 and these right here not for sure what those are but i'm not looking to buy any fish that expensive so let's just see what else they got here oh here we go back here on this wall we got more they got like a whole wall of fish guys i'm about to have some fun here oh look at these these are so pretty look at the colors i wonder if these are is this freshwater fish i mean with those type of colors i can't see those being freshwater fish oh by the way somebody said i need to buy like a tunnel for my fish aquarium for the fish to hide in but i don't really see a tunnel in here maybe that little thing acts as a tunnel or something but we'll see i might have to buy something different but we got some smaller ones down here oh look at this one. Ooh, this one has a headache he has a bump on his head what the heck is this thing stuck to the glass look at that hey what are you doing i'm not for sure about that thing that's crazy so anyway moving on these right here are called mixed planty mixed planty fish so you can get two of those for five dollars or one for 2.99 those are really tiny i'm actually looking for something maybe a little bit bigger these right here are bunos aries i'm not for sure what a buno aries is comment down below guys if you guys ever heard about bunos aries maybe i'm not even pronouncing it right oh wait a minute wait 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 why they got these fish right here separate they got these fish separate you know why i know what these are these are some really aggressive fish that they have to keep these by themselves because they really aggressive they actually kill everything in they freaking path these right here not for sure what those are oh wait those are little catfish no whoa wait a minute these are shark man lg era oh these are iridescent sharks i had these before so you can get two of these for 35 dollars so you get two of these for 35 dollars that's crazy i don't know i don't know i don't know we'll see guys remember i told you when i lived in indiana i had bought these chinese fish called iridescent sharks they were much bigger than this but that's what these are right here i'm actually a little scared of them but two for 35 dollars is not bad but again i don't want to start off with nothing too freaking expensive let's go down here excuse me sir thank you okay oh they got oscars i don't think i ever owned an oscar before i gotta move around so these people can see what we got here oh are these piranhas i think these are piranhas man we ain't mess with no piranhas oh no could you imagine one of my kids and grandkids coming over sticking a finger in a fish aquarium and it has piranhas in it piranhas are definitely meat eaters so anyway let's see i'm not even sure man they got such a huge selection i don't even know what i want to go with jeez they got them everywhere look at this these fish are expensive too they act like somebody finna cook this stuff nobody's finna cook these fish man nobody's finna cook these fish these are now these size right here might be a little bit too big for the aquarium that i have because i only have a 10 gallon for right now but these i wouldn't mind getting these though they might be a little bit too big for the aquarium so let's move around okay what are these these fish have some weird names to them they got such a huge role I, you know when i came here to buy my rabbit i had no idea that they had all these fish in here 
and I think because I did the reason I didn't know is because I was focused on I was only focused on um, getting a rabbit at the time. So holy cow, what's that? Oh, that's eating size right there. You want to go home and jump in my skillet, homie? Put you in some hot grease. Hmm? Hot grease, hot grease, hot grease. Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn this off for a second so I can focus on the fish that I want to buy. Yes. Look at this, guys. Ah, uh, look at this, man. Yeah, always mention, you know, this is where I bought my rabbit from. They got some little baby rabbits in here. <laughs> Maybe I didn't overfeed money because look at all the food. They, they got that bowl right there. And they got the Goonie Pigs. Hey, Goonie. Hey, Goonie Pig. Hey, Goonie Pig. How you doing, Goonie Pig? Hey, Goonie, Goonie. Goonie, Goonie, Goonie. Goonie Pig. And we got some chickens right there. All we needed some hot sauce and a little bit of cooking grease. Okay. Okay, check us out, man. We got them birds. I don't think I, I honestly don't think I know how to take care of a bird that well. Who knows? Maybe one of these days, just not today. But so anyway, guys, I did pick out 20 fish of the same fish. So he's getting them out for me now. Hey, look at this. Yep, I got 20 fish. He's loading up right now. I also bought this little thing right here. So let's go back over here and see what he got going on. Hey. Hot. Hey, hey, hey. Hot. Hey, you fine. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find like a little tunnel, guys. Oh, I need a little tunnel. Oh, here we go. Something like these right here. These are little tunnels. I need something small because which are these? These are these things are solid, man. Like, let's see here. I just want to drop one of these in the aquarium. $24. Good Lord. Not that I'm being cheap, but hell, I don't know how long my fish going to live, so I ain't trying to go crazy, crazy. What is right here? That's a little tunnel. This is for $14. That, that is kind of colorful, though. That might go pretty good in the, at the bottom of the aquarium because I need something that's going to sit at the bottom of the aquarium and not float up to the top. We'll see. Let's see if they got something else. That's not really bad for 14 bucks. So the fish I'm starting off with today. Well, I'll actually tell you guys when I get home and get them put in an aquarium. But my cousin said, Damien, you need to get a tunnel for the fish to hide in. So that's what I'm looking for. But I do want something with like some crazy color to it. Something. Uh... Is it 20, right? Yes, 20 of them. Yep. By the way, guys, I started off with 20 fish. 20 of them bad boys. I don't really see... You know what? I may actually go back to Walmart. Um, because right now, the aquarium, it is complete. But there's a few things I want to add in. But I don't want to go too crazy with the add-ons because it's only a small aquarium. So, right now, I do have 20 fish. And... Again, like I said, I have this net right here. Ooh, I am black. I have this net to better scoop them out. I know something's gonna pass away on me. I won't be as hurt as I was when Bunny passed and when Mia passed. I just made it home. So I did pick out 20 of these fish. These fish are called Red Comets. Now, the owner of the pet store where I bought these from, I was asking him questions about the fish. I basically was asking him like, what's the life expectancy on these fish and he told me that these fish actually grow to like 10 to 15 inches long he said that they can live for like eight or nine years which you know i find it hard to believe now the reason why i bought 20 of them because you know like these fish are coming from a different temperature of water from their store to a different to a different temperature of water in my house and at my aquarium so i'm quite sure that my my water temperature and their water temperature is different so i do expect that i'm going to lose probably half of these fish but i'm almost 100 percent certain that 90 i mean 
the other 50% of the fish will survive. Now, I haven't bought an algae eater yet for the fish aquarium. I'm gonna wait like another week until I start seeing algae, because the guy said the best time to buy an algae eater is when you start seeing algae on the glass, which is that green film. Because if you don't see algae, it means the algae eater will just starve because that's what their main source of food is, is algae. And I also bought this little net right here. Again, like I showed you at the store, this helps me scoop the fish out when they, um, you know, I wake up and see them passed away or floating at the top. Also the fish food he said I can use is the fish flakes. So when I bought the fish aquarium, it came with a complimentary bag of fish flakes that I can feed them and um, I'll be going to Walmart to buy some more. But I wanna show you the fish aquarium real quick before I actually put these fish in there. I am really excited to get these bad boys in there and add some color to it. So the fish aquarium, as you guys see, I just turned the light on and moved the lid off so I can dump the fish in there. You guys see the fish aquarium is extremely clear. You got the little bubbles. The temperature on it is perfect. So it's not too cold, it's not too warm. Now, I am gonna, when I go buy the fish food at Walmart for the aquarium, I'm actually gonna get like a tunnel. I think they had like a tunnel there for like 12 bucks. They had tunnels at the other store, but they didn't have enough color. I want this aquarium to have like a lot of color to it. So here it is, guys. So I'm about to get the fish and pour them in there and let you guys see what it looks like and then we'll bring this video to an end. Check it out, guys. I just poured the fish inside the aquarium and look at them, they're moving around. Now, I was asking the guy at the um, fish and pet store, I said, how would I actually know if my water temperature is completely off and something is wrong? He said immediately, once you pour the fish inside of the aquarium, and if they all get into like a little corner, like over there, like all of them, it's like bunched up in a little corner. He said something is off with the tank. He said take them out immediately and put them back inside the original bag with the original water that came with. He said because that means that the water temperature is completely off. So right now it looks like everything, like all the fish are actually moving around, swimming around. And that's actually a good thing. So I know like tomorrow morning when I wake up, it's still kind of early in the day, but tomorrow morning when I wake up, I will actually know like if I start seeing fish floating at the top of the water dead. What she said is normal when you first put fish inside of a fish aquarium because the water is different. Now you, they say that, that you can buy regular water in a, um, in a uh, gallons of water, like a whole bunch of gallons of water from the store that's already room temperature and pour them in your aquarium so you don't have to wait three weeks to a month to put fish in it. But for me, I just put regular water in it from the sink and let it sit for several weeks. This is the fish food that I'm going to be using. He, he, he had recommended this, which is awesome because this is what actually came with the fish aquarium. So what I'm probably going to do, I don't know if they actually ate anything today, but I don't know. So what I'm going to do is open this bag up and pour some flakes in there and just see if they actually will eat. I should have opened this bag before I did that. So what I'm going to do is... I got the flakes right here, they're open. I'm just gonna put some of these in there and just see if the fish will start eating them. I don't wanna put too much in there because I like, again, I don't know if they actually ate already. Now it's starting to float to the bottom real slow as you guys can see. I'm gonna see if the fish are eating up. Oh, they're eating it. Oh wow, look, they're actually eating the food. Oh yeah, they not playing. Look, they going crazy. So they are hungry. This is a good thing. Guys, tell me in the comment section what you think of this video so far in the aquarium. If you guys think of something else you think that I can add to this aquarium, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace out.